Hi kind friends, welcome back to my channel and in today's video this is just a relaxed coloring session with Emily so um, I thought it would be fun to take you with me when I color this face here. So this is not thought as a tutorial, it's more really like um, eye color and um, yeah, try to shed a little bit and um, yeah, maybe you will still be inspired or learn something who knows but i will use mixed pencils means i will combine my polychromos with my prisma colors not sticking to one pencil since this is not a tutorial you know i just do it like i do it yeah in my free time so and yeah you can be part of it so this is a page by renata berta art and i just wanted to color some asian inspired pages and i fell in love with this image when i saw it and yeah absolutely had to color this so those magnolias and the hair is done with the durvin chroma flow and i will link my um coloring update video episode number five in this episode i shared the color combinations for those flowers the hair so if you're interested in that you can check it out and um, yeah so let's get started i would say and i think i will just get started and color in her eyes maybe um because it can look a little bit <clears throat> strange when the um, skin is done but the eyes not so i thought you know <laughs> and yeah i zoom you out a little bit more maybe like so and you know this is just really relaxed coloring for me so <laughs> I will put my uh, turn my page in every direction that I need it and yeah hopefully it will be okay for you and you will have some fun so yeah let me think what could we chat about maybe about my videos that I have done recently at this point where i'm filming this um yeah they are not out yet but when you will see this um coming here i'm pretty sure you will have seen those videos already because i think from the time where i'm uh, yeah filming this here actually until i can actually release it i think a few weeks might pass um yeah, most probably around six weeks, maybe, because I actually have an order in which I put those videos out, because, yeah, obviously I want the um, coloring episode number five, um, yeah, to come out first and this one after, so, <laughs> and, um, yeah, until I can release my coloring episode number five, I have to release coloring episode number four, which is also filmed. I need to work on the editing, basically. Um, yeah, I'm just giving her a little bit of blue eyes, I thought would be nice. And um, yeah, maybe I will introduce the colors in a moment, just in case someone yeah, wants to know it. I mean, even though this is not a color long, if you find a color combination that you like, of course it would be nice if you could follow it and use it. Because um, the way that I learned at the beginning was actually that I didn't follow like um, color longs. I just um, took take a look or took a look at the um, color combinations, write them down, and then when I found a page on which I could use them, I just went for them so because I don't know I was never a person who um, loved to follow call alongs I don't know <laughs> it was a little bit too kind of even though I would love to um, color those images because they look so nice I think I was always more interested in doing my own coloring it just felt a little bit more exciting for me kind of so for her eyes i just had the pc 1023 um i don't know which color it is the name is gone then i've got um slate oh no blue slate um then china blue 
and a tinsy bit of indigo blue. So four colors for those very small eyes. And for the eye white, I just, you know, I just grabbed some grays, that's all. Nothing, nothing special. A light gray, a darker gray, and that's it. I want this lady here to be pale, but not like a real geisha. Um, those are often actually kind of, yeah, white. They have the white um, powder in their face. So this is actually not what I'm aiming for here. Um, but I still want to have her kind of um, yeah, pale and maybe a little bit more um, pinkish or so. Yeah, we will see <laughs> where we get here. So, okay. I hope you can see what I'm doing here, since these are very small details that I'm working on at the moment. Um, I think I would like to color her um, eyes. And, you know, sometimes those geishas, they have like a reddish eye makeup. Let me actually uh, uh, look something up. Like you can see here, this is from a book from Chris Ortega. Um, oh my gosh, it's too... I would need to zoom you out, I guess, because of the stupid tripod. So, there. Yeah, I have a little bit of a reference. She has this red eye makeup and even this type of um, lip um, makeup, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I will just try to do it. We will just go for it and try our best. So, hmm. okay, I have some polychromos colors here, some reds, and I will just go in bravely, um, try to color this with red. Yeah, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> because red is a, uh, yeah, strange color for eye makeup, I guess. I think it could look strange, but well, doesn't look too bad. I think I will also add in a little bit underneath there. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, looks interesting. I think I will try to blend this out a little bit with a pinkish color, basically. And then I would go in with a darker um, red color. I would that reminds me that I zoomed you out a little bit. <laughs> so let me zoom you in again. And now really bring in a little bit of this reddish color here. So actually I wanted to chat with you, but it seems I'm always very concentrating on the coloring when I color. Uh, Yeah, we will just see what happens. I hope you still have some fun. Um, it looks actually interesting. What do you think? Okay. I think with this look, 
very interesting, I think. Okay. I think I like this better. This is a little bit more straight, while this is a little bit curved up, actually. Let's see if I can fix this. Oh, which do I like better, the curved up or the straight one? I don't know, maybe we are just also giving this a little curve here. Like so. Yeah, I think it's okay. So then I would color in her lips here, um, which also is yeah kind of very special, so to speak. So I'm going in with the same red color here to base it, basically. Somehow I'm always, um, when I film, I'm still telling what I'm doing, even though I, I just want to do kind of a, yeah, not a tutorial, just a relaxed coloring. But I tend to always tell what I'm doing. So it's kind of like a heart shape. I will go in with this kind of like a pinkish color for the highlight in the middle, I guess. And then I will darken this up with the darker red tone. Well, this is kind of like a hard shape, I would say. Mm -hmm. Looks really like a geisha, I would say. Because this is a very nice um, big portrait. I actually have enough space to color this heart here. I will tell you the colors in a minute when I'm done with her lips. Just in case you're interested in them. So, and the rest of the lips, I want to have more of a natural looking on lip so hopefully that would work so that it actually looks like this um heart is um colored on the lips that's my intention here so to speak so Something like that. I think I would go in a little bit with my Prisma colors here. As I said, I'm I like to mix them up. And not stick to <laughs> to one brand. Oh, interesting. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I will also give you just some music. I don't know. I wanted to chat, but on those portraits, I always tend to just enjoy the process and concentrate a little bit more. Because I'm just just enjoying it so much mm, looks interesting so far so <laughs> you could even leave her white then she would look really like a geisha so actually um let me quickly introduce the colors so i have used for the eye makeup and her lips um it was um rose carmine then deep red and middle cadmium red and then yeah 
for the lip I used here the uh, medium flesh and then just my normal I also had the dark flesh here but mainly I used my normal um, skin tone colors which was just the light peach nectar and henna which I'm also going whoopsie to use now for coloring in her skin I will try to have her skin a little bit lighter than usual I will zoom you out a little bit so because I will move my page a little bit and I don't want you to be out of screen so I will start shading with my um, peach as I'm usually doing and maybe I will just grab a piece of paper for myself and since I have a little bit of shading here on this page I will just follow it um, well, taking this one I guess so with the peach I'm just bringing in my um, shading so that I know where to place it So I usually start, you know, around her eyes and then around the nose because I think that those face features yeah, form the face, basically. So I think that those are quite important to build up the, um, the page, the coloring. Now I'm connecting the nose with the eye and then I'm trying to actually yeah, blend it into the um, cheeks, so to speak. Because we don't have just a straight line there, obviously. I also You know, I just like to close the nose there. Um, and then work on the other side. And you know, just bringing um, the nose down a little bit. And then I also like to close it up here. Okay, I will turn her around a little bit. She has a little bit of a shadow underneath her eyes to form the eyeball, so to speak. And then, of course, she has a shadow underneath her nose. And then, hmm, yeah, underneath her mouth, of course, is also to form the shin. And then I'm basically just outlining. It feels a little bit like a tutorial still. So I'm just telling you how I would color a face in general. I just can't help myself. <laughs> I just really love to talk about coloring. <laughs> so I will put those away. These are in the way. So just outlining her shape a little bit. And then we have a little bit of a shadow here from this flower. So I'm um, bringing that in. And then just continue to do 
the um, outlining, so to speak, all around her face. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I will blend in a little bit this blush pink here. Um, usually I use the blush pink only later, but I think that I want her skin color a little bit more pinkish this time. I'm bringing it in especially here on the cheeks and on the nose and a little bit here on the cheeks um, on the shin I mean can also be a little bit more pink I guess. Uh, around the eyes. You see that I like to move my page quite a bit. And um, so that's a beauty about a PDF page <laughs> that we actually can do it. So I think I will go in a little bit with darker shadows now. So I'm grabbing my peach here. Oh no, quatsch. This is nectar. And I usually want to have darker shadows where the eye is. So I usually start to work in a little bit of a darker shadow and also here underneath the eye. to just help the look that the eye might be rounded, kind of. I don't do too much of this color here actually because um, I want her to be quite pale actually. So, but still we do need a little bit of shadow um, as an outline of her face to make it look rounded basically and I will indicate her cheek bones here a little bit she might also have a little bit of shadow around her mouth like those little hmm, the mouth opens or how you say <laughs> okay and of course, just eye on screen. Yeah. Close the eyes. Ah, oh, eyes, the hair. I can't talk today. I really can't talk. So we bring in the shadow here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do it on the other side as well. So I'm very sorry that I'm not giving you a, a color and chat that I actually intended to do you know when i'm not coming i'm quite relaxed and um, feel like i could share it with you but the moment i start coloring it's all gone the latest when i start to give you the first um color that i'm telling you which color i'm actually using 
Um, it's just, <laughs> it's all over. So these nectar and everything is quite fleshy actually. Um, I will blend everything together with white later. I'm having my Hannah here. Um, this is what I really like to use in the yeah shadows. But on this page I will use it very sparingly. So really just really just a tinsy bit to contour her face which I will blend out um, in a second with the nectar actually just doing a little bit Um, the henna is quite red, so I think that the henna actually is not too bad for our color scheme here. But still, I want to use it very sparingly because, um, yeah, I want to have her face quite light. Okay, time to blend this out with nectar. After that, I will um, blend everything out with the yeah peach and or the blush. So I'm basically going over um, the henna here. Because those colors actually um, blend very nicely together and create a nice um, color. Uh, yeah. It's not working with the talking at all today. I will give you a little bit of music, I guess, but yeah. Hope you're still enjoying. Just recently got a comment that someone said, so my camera turned off, so I hope I didn't lose too much uh, minutes, because usually it just turns off and then a few minutes of recording are missing. So I was actually just um, blending out all those harsh shadows with my peach and I was just actually telling that for the nose basically you know you or I wouldn't do just a straight line you always try to blend it softly out onto her cheeks so you don't have just a line you just blend it um, out to the uh, to the sides of her cheeks and <laughs> while I was waiting for the camera to um, yeah, relax a little bit, so to speak, to you know cool down a little bit, um, yeah, I was um, just checking in the fire colors um, channel. Um, yeah, she's just one of those YouTubers I really like to watch, and um, I also like to read comments. And someone had asked there. Um, yeah, if she could do a video explaining 
um, how to place um, shadow and light on skin when skin coloring. And so I thought maybe I should try to have an attempt on that as well <laughs> at some point, maybe on a line art um, yeah, page maybe. So where we don't have the um, pre-shaded page. So I'm usually always trying to explain it a little bit and I will give you a little bit of explanation um, as a recap at the end of this um, coloring as well. Just telling you actually where on uh, such um, face with no special lighting I just tend to place my um, shadows and my highlights. It might help you. So I'm just trying to blend out now here this section a little bit. Um, you know we just need to get a little bit of a gradient basically so that the um, so that it's just not so harsh whenever we have a um, shadow area and so so a little bit blending this side here in and then it is almost time for <laughs> for the highlight color. You know what I do want to do is I want to shape in her shin here. So that means that I want to have the highlight, a strong highlight here on the middle of the shin, so to speak. And I'm lightly, with light pressure, um, coloring around it. I'm dragging it up to my um, cheeks here as well. And then what I also like to do is just having a little bit of shading around the mouse, you know, that can also just, yeah, help with the form a little bit. And then I like to give a little bit of shading around the nose, basically, just to blend in the place of the nose a little bit better, so to speak. So, and I think now it's basically time to go in with the um, light peach. So I left quite a bit or quite big areas white and all those areas I will just color in with my light peach. I just want to also blend this in a little bit more. And yeah, before I go in with my light peach, I might... Um, Use my blush pink to yeah get certain areas a little bit more blended. My light is not on. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's why I'm really not the best YouTuber. I'm so sorry. Oh, that was stupid actually. So I guess you couldn't see anything, right? Oh no, because it's actually quite dark outside, it's quite late already. Uh. So, liking to have a little bit of this blush pink, yeah, actually all around it. So, on her shin, around her eyes, around her nose, especially, of course, on her cheeks. And then I will just, you know, blend everything out with the, um, yeah, with the light peach. So, yeah, like this. And then I take my light peach and just 
now I'm going over now I wouldn't say that I go over everything but I do blend in the highlighted section into sections that are nearby this will also help to smooth everything out actually Here on the nose, I think I would even leave um, a little bit of white. Also on the tip of the nose, um, to have a very strong highlight here on the nose. Then you know I always have a highlight here on her kind of eye section to make it a look a little bit rounded. And then around her eyes to give her a little bit highlight there it's really not so easy to explain <laughs> so I will um, try to um, blend in her cheeks here I might actually um, just keep a little section even white since this is a white uh, or a very light skin tone but I make sure that I will blend in here the nose with this color so I go in and smooth it out also might lighten it up a little bit I just keep a very light section that is white there on her cheeks um, could also be a little bit more down here on her cheekbones kind of so kind of it actually kind of reminds a little bit of um, when you do <laughs> makeup how you contour your face but yeah so just blending everything in here Especially here into the bridge of her nose also here on the eye a little bit oh <laughs> I need to move my page a little bit I'm sorry but I can't do it eh, differently so I'm leaving a little bit of white here as well, I think, at least for the moment. Like so, I will also now, you know, I left this very light or small um, line on the outside because this is usually how the artists shade their images. They um, leave just a little highlight section there and I think always that it looks actually quite nice and good so and then I just um, ah, yeah forgot the other side of her eye here so blending that all in and then just color in her um, forehead I think I might leave um, a section in the very middle of her face that I just color in very lightly so that I can even lighten it up with a white a little bit and smooth it out a bit more but actually I want to have a little bit of color because otherwise <laughs> the white actually won't um yeah smooth everything out so nicely so okay so that's that i hope everything is in frame whoopsie so now i would go in with white i'm really just um 
yeah blending out here on her cheeks where I left this white space then we have this little nose here bridge of the nose middle section a strong highlight can use it a little bit here on the eyeball so to speak and then a little bit here on the mouse and then just you know I'm actually just trying to blend everything a little bit more also that might be a little bit underneath her um, mouse so and overall I want to have the highlight section here on her cheek and then going like in a triangular um, shape to the mouse down <laughs> oh my gosh it's so hard to explain also doing a little bit of light here around the eye actually I think and then of course on the on the cheek um, chin Oh my gosh, and I'm always using the wrong words. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we do have the other side here. I will just move it a little bit. If I won't do it, all my hand will be in the screen, I guess. And I don't like that. <laughs> so. So, just really... Blending out this section here, a little bit of highlight here on the eye section as well. And then, you know, going a little bit, as I said, in a triangular um, shape down to the mouse, like so. Just making everything smoother and then mm, on the shin, um, on her forehead also. Um, I would try to blend this out here a little bit with pink, blush pink. I think, especially here on her cheeks, I guess. It's okay to have it a little bit more pinkish. Also quite okay on her nose. Okay, we need to blend. Whoopsie! Oh my gosh! Blend this out. Wait with the with the light peach, I guess. Where is my? Uh, ah, I'm holding it in my hand. Actually trying the um, blush trying to blend in the blush pink so that it's not so harsh such a harsh line here basically
think that's it. I'm done, I think, with her face. Just around her nose and mouth. Mm -hmm. And then we could go in her eye section here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we could maybe I don't know very carefully. Who oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. It's a very dark color. But yeah. Okay. So you know, at some point I actually switched to my polychromos. Um yeah. <laughs> because at some point the uh, prismas just are too they get me a little bit too I don't know how to say smudgy or I don't know they take off their own color so to speak and that's something that I definitely don't want I think I would try to add in a darker shadow here near to her hair and with the polychromos I can do a little bit of a yeah more controlled shadow so to speak. And also it is helping with the color of course. So at some point I really like to add in some other colors. That's why I typically yeah switch to my polychromos then later for the darkest shadows. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think we are actually done. There is a little bit of an ear, so let's color that one in quickly. Kind of very dark, so just going in with henna and nectar, and that's it. Ear done. Oopsie, oh, I'm so sorry. So. Oh, we need to add a little bit more here on the nose, actually. Okay. Yeah. Now the neck is, of course, missing, so... <sighs> but we are almost reached the time again. I think I could color in her eyebrows, maybe? I'm just thinking, is there anything that I need to add here? I actually really like this color which I did. I used um I used the red violet with medium flash. That looks really nice. Let's do a little bit on the other side as well. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. Now let's just go in with a black color and yeah, color in her eyebrows. 
which on this page basically yeah they're kind of in but I'm just going in with a black and intensifying them Oops, I just need to move and I'm just doing like strokes and releasing the pressure to really get some thinner lines at the top Let's just maybe do a little bit here. So and as I said, everything that we don't like we can just um yeah scratch it off. So that's a good thing. Yes, I think looks good. Also, I also like to give a little bit here, there, <laughs> in the corners of the eyes, and then I just ah, this is not hmm, sharp enough. Let's try the other side then. I just drag it up a little bit to blend it in, like so. Okay, I think that's basically it. So I would just continue to color in her neck the same way with the same colors. In this case, I would just follow the shading, do the darkest shadow under her under her shin. That's the most important. I usually start with a darker color from the beginning underneath her shin to get it really dark. But I think I have to cut off the video now because it's real time and, uh, you know, I'm just running out of time. But I actually hope that you enjoyed this little demonstration on how I colored her skin. Mm, I haven't done uh, a skin coloring for a while, so yeah. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, let me know in the comment section. And I hope I will see you next week. Happy coloring, everyone. Bye. <laughs>